Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ancient, Ancient Starcraft coming to you with game number two between yeah, Mo's Meta spawning against a green Protoss. It's kind of spawning right here in the left centerish position. And we have AI Saplo spawning as a purple Protoss spawning at the bottom center. Now game number one was Saplo. Uh, there was an early Early pressure right there, which uh, Mana could not defend against. Um, I believe that the last game, if he used those sentries to block off, build more units, he might have had a little bit of a chance, but then again, he, his opponent did have a proxy pylon there as well, so I don't know what could have happened. But let's see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm choking. I'm about to die, I'm really sick. Just kidding. Or am I? Oh, got one tab. Production tab. Timing is going to be absolutely the same. Let's see. Energy going down for boost energy going down for boost for and then proto probe productions yeah yeah all right so both players kind of doing the same thing again i mean you'll see this quite a bit the very start opening is like pretty much the same gateway's gotta go down he opts not to block off his ramp neither does this player i don't know why um, these two players have been quite peculiar to me. Um, I did do this game in a live cast before of my um, Justin.tv account. Same thing, Justin.tv slash Ancient Starcraft. Um, you know, and this is really peculiar. Why do these players don't block off this ramp, put a zealot here? I don't know, but hey. They seem better players than me. I'm a lowly silver player on the North American server. We shall see how it goes. Full saturation on the gas. Full saturation on the gas. Gateway going down. Gateway is about to go down for Saplo now. Going for the early cyber. Same thing for uh, Saplo. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is about the same. <laughs> I mean, what else can you do or say? Saying, hey, they're doing the exact same thing. Fred Zell has got to go out for both players. Uh, Sapo is just got to be ahead by about like 4 seconds, 4 or 5 seconds, Blizzard seconds. Now, as you know, Blizzard timing tends to be a little faster. So I'm wondering if I said the, I think I, I'm not sure if I said this joke. I'm going to say it again because I'm cheesy like that. If Blizzard time is a lot faster than regular human time, why did it, and it took them about... What was it? Eight years for them to come out with uh, eight years, ten years to come out with StarCraft uh, two. How long did it take in Blizzard time? Like fifty years? Oh my god! But anyway, back to the game. Probe is gonna scout out this area. Sees a zealot. It's not gonna see much here. So any tech that he might think, it's not gonna see the second um, assimilator. I guess he may just assume because he also has second assimilator. But who knows? Assumptions are very, very, very bad. Now he's going for a one gate robo. But there are mine engagement going on right here. The stalker might go down. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Stalker's going back in the play. Trying to snipe this stalker out. Not gonna work so well. He's doing Sapo's doing his best to try to micro Proxy Pond's gonna go down. One stalker goes down for uh Sapo. Most matters. Probably got to do an early aggression here. Second gateway going down. Third gateway. He's going for a three gate robo now. But this robo wants to chrono boost. He's chrono boosting it out in the morning. He's got to be really do that really soon. Because now the, the stalker sentry is a stalker. Uh, the zealous stalker combo is in the mineral line. The zealous in the mineral line. He's got to be careful with the stalker. He does not want your pro to be surrounded. Now uh, Sapo is doing what he can. Surrounded the zealot. So I was gonna take out two, took out two pros, three pros, before it goes down. But he still has two stalkers, which he's gonna probably snipe out these pros. Yes, he is. It takes two stalkers, four shots total, or two shots each. Ooh, Immortal is going down, and he is gonna go down unless he could somehow go. But because the stalker was, look at the high guard, worth it three zones. Ah, uh, stalker does go down because of the force field barrier, but. Let's see what goes on. They don't do, he doesn't do uh, too much. Immortals don't do too much damage to regulars, so we'll see what happens here. Yes, yeah, gotta go down. Yes, yeah, he goes down. This uncle's dead. 
But because he keeps seeing this high ground, he's able to warp in three zealots. He's going to continue with this pressure here. I don't know if I agree with this because he hasn't made... He has, he has done a pretty decent amount of uh, pro damage. Yeah, he's killed 18 work... Uh, he's killed 13 workers against one that's scouting. But still, I don't know if this is worth it. He's wasting... Putting a lot of resources. He doesn't even have a stock up right now. So because if you don't have some range unit, you got to be able to kite so easily like this. Sentry does go down though, which might be a small victory because he did have to waste that gas. Pro's trying to do everything they can to keep the zealots surrounded so that the zealots will be just shot down by the stalkers. This, he's got to be careful. He might lose his immortal. It, is it, it, he loses the immortal. The pile goes down, so he cannot do any more uh, immortal reinforcements. He's chrome boosting out the pro, seeing what he can do. He's got to clean out this. But no, three more zones are going to come out right here. <coughs> Near breath. And this engine got force field. Yes, he traps two out with one. This one's going to go down, definitely. Maybe not before taking that out. Maybe. No. The stalker was close to going down. He's three HP left. He's a you know, hero stalker. I'm going to see if I could hockey him. No, I cannot. Oh well, it's okay. Deleting this reinforcing pylon. Not gonna supply. Oh, it is gonna supply block him once this goes down, unless uh, most mana drops another pylon, which he does. But he's got a supply block from right now. So, the one good thing about it though, like the extracted trick and something like that, once you have the unit start building, it'll continually build even if that pylon gets destroyed. Had a bit of an artosis pylon moment here, kind of a little bit. Okay, he's he also has a three gate robot and mortars going down. Let's get the uh, army composition right here. Most mana after that, he has two zealots, one immortal, and two sentries. Going gotta go for that um, exp uh, nine minute expansion. Uh, purple Sapo has two stalkers, two sentries, one zealot. I don't know if Sapo is gonna be able to hold this, but he does have an observer. But there's no DTs. Uh, he might want to send this observer out to. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's Mo's Mana's observer. Whoa. Can I like, switch these? You know, every time I also say something on the left side, I always look at the top. And something on the right side, I always look at the bottom. So, and I, I realize that <laughs> it's not the case. But alright. Hey, we might have a small little engagement right here. This observer is going to look at the high ground. He's going to be able to snipe this. So, oh, so bad. The three. Ho Three uh, hit point stalker does go down with the three kills. It's okay. This observer does get spotted, so he's got to go down. No, not yet. Three more stalkers. He does have to reinforce the pile on here. Thanks, statue. But anyway, this work gate is probably going to get sniped out. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Force fields it in, so the stalker is going to go down. Is this sentry going to go down? No. This is more still doing a lot of damage to all the buildings here. I don't know what he's attacking, but this force field is going to keep the army kind of separated, but it does blink. Blink has finished for uh, for most matter. Most matter is going to come in here, Guardian Shield, reducing the attacks by two. And Choke Munch, good game. I don't know what he meant by Choke Munch. I guess he, he choked maybe a little bit? I don't know. I'm not sure, but hey. This is game number two. Game number three is going to come at you really soon. So stay tuned. Again, please look it down in the description. I will have my link. www.youtube.com slash ancient starcraft. A-N-C-E-N-C-Z-S-C. S-C for starcraft. I am um, also have a, a justin.tv channel. Justin.tv slash ancient SC. Same thing. Makes it very simple. Um, I don't have a Twitter yet. I was told I should probably get a Twitter. But maybe not yet. Just because I'm not that popular. I mean. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, um, thank you. Uh, a couple of thank yous that I didn't do in game one is I'd like to thank uh, Red Mage and a, I forgot the other guy's name. Crap, this isn't good. Ayase? A Y S A E E? Ayase? From uh, it's gosu.com. Um, talked to them a couple of nights ago and they're like, hey, you just got to get out there and cast. That is what I'm doing. Thank you guys for giving me the reaffirmation. I also would like to thank. Um, uh, GosuGamers.net, Icicle, and Iron Maker. Icicle is the StarCraft 2 caster there, and Iron Maker is the Dota 2 caster right there. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, without the four of you, you know, I wouldn't be casting, giving me compliments and all that noise. So thank you so much. Please stay tuned for game number three.